Hey guys, it's Sam, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be my top 10 favorite red lipstick. It was not easy to cut it down to 10 and I will be giving way more suggestion because, you know, the more the better, right? And I thought it was the perfect time to share them with you, my favorite red lipsticks, because, you know, the holidays are coming really soon and hopefully you will find a perfect shade for you. I didn't want to include recent purchases, but this one made the cut anyway just because it is that amazing and it is the Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 01 Always Red. This is the one that I have for my lips right now and it might be just as good as the Lime Crime Velveteen. I will be doing a comparison video eventually, but so far I feel like it resists foods and drink just as well and it is way more affordable, so hopefully it will resist the holidays because that's the one I'm thinking of wearing during Christmas. I feel like it is a true red. There might be a little bit of a uh, cool tone to it, but I feel like it looks gorgeous. I just adore it. It's a hint darker than like Ruby Woo and stuff like that, so I highly recommend picking this up if you're looking for the perfect shade of red. I'm gonna swatch my hand so we can compare the colors to the other ones, but as you can tell, it's like a darker red with a hint, I guess, of blue tone, but I love blue tone red, so this is perfect. Pretty sure this would look amazing on anyone. I think the quality price, I think this could be the best one of all of them. One of my all-time favorite red lipstick has to be the Rimmel Kate Moss Matte Lipstick in the color 107. This is the most beautiful, like, berry red shade. It is super pigmented, somewhat of a matte finish. It smells really nice. It's just really opaque, it lasts long on your lips. It's so comfortable. Even though it's matte, it's super creamy. Highly recommend picking that one up because again, I feel like this color would suit anyone. And it's just so unique actually for the drugstore, even for higher hand. I feel like there's not that many like berry red shade like this. It's really one of a kind. It I knew it had to be in my favorites and like really close to the top one just because it is that amazing. I adore that shade. The most affordable lipstick I want to mention are from Wet n Wild and if you know me, you know I love those Mega Last lipstick. They're creamy, they're matte, they last amazingly on the lips, they're extremely pigmented for the price. They're like $3 and look amazing on the lips and compare it to really high-end lipstick to me. So the first one I really wanted to mention was Cherry Picking which is a Pinky red lipstick. I love pinky red lipsticks. I feel like they suit my skin tone really well. They're super flattering. They don't make your teeth look yellow whatsoever. It's quite the opposite actually. So I really recommend trying this one if you like pinky and like bluey tone red. Another one that I love, if you like a vampy shade, you will love this shade. This is Cherry Bomb, which is a dark vampy burgundy shade. I compared it in my last dupe video and it's somewhat similar to uh, Diva by MAC but mostly the lipstick in Sin. Both are matte finishes but it's like just the perfect dupe for that shade. So, so if you're looking for a dark vampy shade, I highly recommend trying this one. It's three dollars, you can't go wrong and you can really decide if you like the colors on you. I do love my MAC lipsticks, as you can probably tell in the background, I have quite a few and I adore them. Honestly, I could have done like a top five just of MAC lipsticks, but I was able to cut it down to two. So my two favorites, the first one has to be obviously Ruby Woo, just because this is again a shade that is universally flattering. It's a pain to swatch, especially on the hand. But as you can see, it is lighter than the color I'm wearing. That's why I was saying this one was a little darker and a little bit more cool tone. This is really a true red, a pain to apply, super drying, but this is one of the most amazing lipstick you can try if you're looking for perfect red. This one is so easy just because you won't have to worry about it. It's gonna stay all night on your lips, no matter what you eat and do. If you're looking for the perfect red from MAC, Ruby Woo has to be your choice. And if you're like me and like a pinky tone red, you will love Relentlessly Red, which apparently both of them are actually retro matte finishes that are extremely drying, but I just love the finish just because it really doesn't move off your lips. It's just the most amazing formula to me. I know some people prefer something that's more moisturizing, but if I'm gonna wear a bright shade, I wanna make sure that it won't move. So this is like the perfect finish for me. As you can tell, it's like way more bright, a little bit more pinky. I just think it has, once again, perfect finish, super easy to pull off. If you like pinky tone red, you need to try Relentlessly Red. Once again, I've seen it on so many different skin tone and it looked amazing. I love NYX lipsticks and it was not easy. I have four suggestions, 
two that are actually in the top 10 because like I said, I prefer more like berry or pinky tone red. Those are the two ones that made the cut. Two other ones would suit way more skin tones. That's why I'm including the suggestion. The first one I wanted to mention is in the color Merlot, which is a pinky berry shade. It's really unique in my opinion. It's not like, it's really different from all the other lipstick I have to show you. This one has somewhat of a hint of almost gray in it. It's gorgeous on the lips, super comfortable. These one transfer quite a bit if you eat or if you uh, drink, but the stain on your lip is gonna last pretty much all day. So that's that. The other one is in Bloody Mary, which again, pinky tone red. It's somewhat of an in-between uh, relentlessly red and ruby woo so as you can tell it's like a pinky red like i said kind of in between those a little bit more berry like actually raspberry red so yeah somewhat of a raspberry red i adore this shade once again super flattering on like cooler skin tone if you love a pinky red and you want something affordable this is a great option too Two of the shades that didn't make the cut, but I would feel like they would suit more skin tones and are actually pretty much dupes for other shades. I didn't want to put like 10 lipsticks that were the exact same color. What's the point? So that's why I didn't include them, but I'm still gonna mention them. The first one, once again, it's the uh, NYX Matte Lipstick in the color Perfect Red, which the packaging on this one is like, uh, but whatever. So this one is Perfect Red and that's basically what it is. This one is a little bit more cool tone than the other one I'm gonna so mention. As you can tell, it's pretty close to Ruby Woo. I think it's actually even closer to uh, Russian Red, but gorgeous shade. I know a lot of people love that shade. The other one I wanted to mention is in Pure Red, which is actually closer to like Lady Danger. It's a little bit more orangey. Like if I swatch it next to uh, Ruby Woo, as you can see, it's more orange. So if you like uh, Lady Danger or interested in like a warmer tone, more orangey red, you will love to try this is a pure red, yeah, <laughs> perfect red, pure red. They're really close. These two, highly recommend in trying too. I also wanted to mention one shade from the NYX of Matte Lip Cream, but as you can see, I have three that I wanna share just because I can. <laughs> the one that I would've mentioned as my favorite would've been the Monte Carlo one, but the thing is mine is getting like empty. I've used it so much that there's barely anything that like gets off whenever I try it. Like, the color payoff is not there anymore just because I've used it so many times. So I'll try to include a picture of me wearing this. So that's why it's not in my favorite just because mine is basically used up. But if you have the chance to try this color, do because it's amazing. I wanted to mention Copenhagen. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that somewhat okay. This one is way more like uh, vampy. It's somewhat closer to Cherry Balm actually. Somewhat of a burgundy uh, reddish tone with a hint of purple. So very purpley. Burgundy shade, adored. I adore this. If you're looking for a vampy shade, that's a really nice one. The last one that made the cut is the Lime Crime Red Velvet Velveteen. It is quite similar to the color I'm wearing right now on my lips. I'm gonna try to swatch them next side by side. As you can see, this is the Red Velvet. This is the uh, Sephora 01. I think the Sephora one is a hint lighter. So, so if you're interested in someone but don't want to purchase it for the price or something, I highly recommend trying the 01 uh, Sephora Cream Lip Stain just because it's a hint darker but quite similar. I also love the Wicked Shade just because it's even darker. This one is like way darker but... I really want to mention it just because I really like it. Didn't make the top 10 but still really like that one. Two more suggestions that didn't make the cut, but still an amazing formula are the lipstick from Milani. Those are the statement lipsticks. These smell really nice, like a fruity watermelon formula is amazing. Feels so comfortable on lips. So the first one I wanted to mention is in Best Red, which is somewhat similar uh, to, I feel like it's a little bit darker and a little bit more pinky than uh, Ruby Woo, but it's a gorgeous shade. Again, universally flattering. It's a bit darker than the next one. This one is in, Red label, which I think is more similar to actually. This one is more similar to uh, Ruby Woo, but it's not as matte finish. This is more of a cream finish, but highly recommend uh, looking at these if you can find them. Just If you're looking for a good quality lipstick at a good price, I highly recommend checking the Milani Statement Lipstick in Best Red, and the other one was in Red Label. I forgot to ask, I am planning on doing a get to know me video or question and answer video. Let me know what you would prefer. Would you prefer something like a 50 fact about me or like 20 facts about me or a Q&A? If you have any suggestion, just let me know in the comments and I won't answer right away because I will be including them in the question video. Which one do you prefer? Like random facts or a Q&A or both? 
yeah, just let me know. <laughs> I quickly wanted to mention two lip liners that could be used with most of these lipsticks just because it's always good to have a few options. The first one is actually the one that I'm wearing a little bit just because uh, I forgot to mention the Sephora Cream Lip Stain. It's probably the hardest to apply out of all of these just because, I don't know, it's just way harder. So I suggest using a lip liner. This one is from MAC. This one is in Cherry, I believe. Yes, Cherry. So this one is really a true red shade. It's a little bit like darker than a true red, I guess, but it's still pretty... Yeah, it's quite similar to what I'm wearing, so it works perfectly with it. A more affordable version would be the NYX. This is the lip liner pencil in hot red. So this one is more pale and a hit more pinky tone. I know they have more options, so I just wanted to suggest at least these two formula. Both of them work perfectly. By the way, you could always use a clear lip liner. This one is from Milani. They work really well too. Or you could just use concealer on the side of your lips. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if it's not already done. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.